What I like most about this portable evaporative cooler is the design is basically like a tower fan. It's very thin, it's very sleek, you can put it in a corner. It works really well for just about any room in the house and anywhere you put it. Let me show you what you get out of the box and how I use this. This is the air cooler and you can see it's basically a tower fan. You put water in it and then it uses the water for evaporative cooling. But let's see, right now it's 71 degrees in here to get all the different functions. So you can turn the fan on or off. Then this mode would turn the pump on. I don't have any water in there now. You can hear it trying and failing. So you've got night mode. This will make things more quiet. You have the different modes here and then the different speeds here. Low, medium, and high. Then you've got oscillating here and then you've got the timer mode as well. It comes with a remote control that duplicates the functions that you can press on top and it also comes with a couple I, I guess these are ice packs there's something in there there's no water so you'd have to unscrew this and freeze it. I don't recommend using these in my experience they don't have a significant impact it's not worth the effort. If we look on the back here so this is the water reservoir so you'd pull this out put water in there you can see the pump will do that in just a bit and then here's where the pads are so let's take this off and I will say it's nice that you can actually take that off so here is the pad itself and you can take this whole thing out now this is interesting to me because this is not your typical evaporative cooler pad this is just kind of like a fabric so I'm not really sure how effective this is going to be but with this off you can kind of see the fan in there the tower fan you can see the tube running up so the tube is going to let the water come out there and go down I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up make sure you don't go past the max fill line this doesn't really come out all the way let's hope I don't spill all right so not a very big tank I wasn't even able to fill up a gallon maybe maybe about half gallon tank I would say we'll turn it on and then turn on cool okay with the back cover off I can see it is actually doing a really good job saturating all of this this whole piece of fabric is just completely soaked there's a couple spots where you can kind of see water trickling down so that part is working quite well actually right now my desk thermometer says it's 75 degrees and then the tower fan says it's 77. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So my desk thermometer is at 74.3 now. And then the thermometer here is at 74 from 77. So it is doing something. This was sent to me so I could do this video review. I've reviewed a lot of evaporative coolers. And the one thing that's very different with this one is the pads on the back. Now, as I kind of talked about in the video, it's very thin. It's like a fabric. And as I've experimented with portable evaporative coolers, what you want is essentially the thickest pad possible to make it the most effective. Obviously, with this pad being as thin as it is, it is not as effective at cooling the air as I've seen with other evaporative coolers. Now I am able to get about three degree difference in my room using this so it does cool off the air and when you have it in front of you kind of like a tower fan just blowing air on you you do notice the cooler air so it does work in that regard but if you're hoping to get something that really cools a room down you're going to need to get something bigger than this and something with bigger pads i think this is actually a really great solution for a place where you would normally just use a tower fan so where you just have air blowing on you maybe you're at your desk or watching tv in the living room this is actually a really good solution thanks for watching have a great day